Hey guys, um, I just want to make a video about AI content detectors. You know, I've been a freelance writer for over 10 years. And for most of those years, it was great. I never had to worry about AI content writing, AI content detecting. It was just me as the writer writing content manually for my clients. And everything was fine. <laughs> until a couple years ago when this whole AI phenomenon started destroying the lives of creative artists and writers like myself. Because what's happening is, it's not so much that the AI content tools are now being used by clients as a replacement for hiring writers. No, what's happening is clients are now testing my work with AI content detection tools online and these tools keep giving back false positive readings or ratings. You know, it'll say that my content is 20% AI or 30% AI or 60% AI and in some cases 100% AI. But the truth is I don't use AI tools to create any of my content. All of the content I write for my clients is written by me with these two hands. I don't use any tools to help me write. And yet these AI content detectors keep saying that I have some amount of AI in there, sometimes all AI, sometimes half AI, you know, all these different percentages. So what I'll do is Sometimes I'll try to like re keep rewriting the content to see if I can get it to pass the AI detector and I can never do it. Like I, I there was one article, I must have tried rewriting it. I got, no, not a thousand times. It was a thousand word article that I tried to rewrite maybe 10 times. And every single time the AI detection tools, I use various ones, um, they kept saying that I had some percentage of AI in them, 10%, 20%, 30%, so on. And I can never get it to 0%, never. <laughs> and it's amazing because, you know, I wrote it myself. So I don't know what algorithm these detection tools are using, but uh, they're, not, they're not right. They're faulty. And for anyone who hires a freelance writer, if you're going to use AI content detectors to test their tools, or sorry, if you're going to use AI content detectors to evaluate their writing, uh, make sure you understand that these are not accurate tools, that most of them, if I, well, all the ones I've tried are not accurate. I haven't found one that is accurate, not one. Um, so that's all I wanted to say. Um, because it's getting annoying because I'm sick and tired of being judged and criticized for something that's not my fault. I don't use AI content tools to do any of my writing. Okay. And if you actually read my content, you would know that it's very conversational in tone. I don't think the AI can create and recreate something that I do from my brain. Maybe it can, unless I'm unless I have some kind of artificial chip in my brain that no one ever told me about, uh, yeah, there's no way a bot could ever replace the writing that I do. Never. And if you're a client who has ever worked with me before, you'll probably realize that, you know, the more you read my writing. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm just irritated by these AI content detectors. I, I, I just wish they would go away. I wish AI content creators would go away. I just wish AI would go away. <laughs> you know, can we get back to the good old days when the AI didn't exist and people actually trusted me for my writing? Ah, I miss those days, don't you?